Hijacked the southern coast of Kor where the sea was overflowing, we were pulling our yacht forward, feel so romantic, the wind with the salty smell hits my face, and the strong sea wind blows my cape. We crossed the sea towards where we targeted. Hey, Lee Subin, where did you learn to drive a boat? Choi see he approached Subin, who was holding the key, and asked if she was bored, and Subin replied as if it was nothing, where? I just taught myself on the internet at home. Is that even possible? Choi Sihi said she couldn't believe it, so I said something behind her. Subin is good at everything. She even knows how to drive trains and airplanes. What? Really? Yeah. Gosh hell. Choi Sihi grabbed her hair as if she was dizzy. Sihi, Subin lives in a different world from us. Don't try to understand. Apart from that, the two have become much closer than before. I can see them talking comfortably to each other. So what happened is a little strange, but the two of them got close in the process of beating Kim Sun Woo, that researcher from Henan Group, who was caught last time, time uh, to be exact, Siu Jin and Subin, who have accumulated a lot in Henan Group since the last weapon incident, Choi Si He joined and harassed them then threw them to the association, you wonder how much we tortured him. Well, all you have to know is that uh, Kim Sun Woo is a dead mate. Why did he have to do experiments on humans? He should be grateful that we didn't kill him. Anyway, our current goal is to the sea below Busan. There is only one goal. Yet I can see it now. A huge boat peeping through the blurry sea. A ship with cannons and a large white sail hung majestically, as if it were written by Vikings in the Middle Ages, began to be visible. And the special thing about that ship is, uh, hey, what is it? A floating ship? Ah, uh, right. The ship is in the air. That huge airship is the kind of pirate ship we're going to hijack today. The villain's Shepalus, after the attack in Sil by Hanan Group's giant weapon, the atmosphere of the original comic Stardust, starts to gradually darken with the devastation of Seal. And the biggest reason for the darkening atmosphere of the comic is the continuous appearance of strong villains. In fact, before that, the villains were all over the place. Except for the force major disaster, the average villains were all easy, but from this point on, the atmosphere changes, the villains appear to be stronger, be stronger, to the point that it's hard for Stardust to handle, there is even a growing number of villains, it is natural for society to be confused by the appearance of well-made villains who have caught both quality and quantity, unlike the past, which mainly focused on causing terrorism in Sil. Strong villains appear one by one outside of Seoul. The age of villains in the height of summer. In the original comic, Stardust gets gradually exhausted. The atmosphere of the work is darkened. And the exhausting story begins in earnest. It can be said that my appearance has made some changes now. Stardust became stronger and faster than the original. And I will continue to conciliate or deal with various villains beforehand. And first of all, we came to catch a villain who was planning to crush Busan. Well, what's this? Choi see he looked up and spoke with her tongue out. Yeah. It's an amazing sight from the first look. The sight of a giant airship floating in the air. Choi see he who was impressed by the sight of the battleship dividing the sea and dividing the sky, immediately looked back at me and asked, So, what's the plan? First of all, beat up those brats up there, I said so neatly, if we beat them up and edify them, they'll be on our side, or well, we'll be a dead mate, anyway, come on, grab my hand, Subin, we'll be back, okay, it'll be waiting here, go ahead, er, go ahead, hi, alright, let's go, Choi Sihi shook her fist once, loosened her hand, and grabbed my hand, and just like that, we teleported over to that airship, the time has come to educate some villain, there are three men who lead that airship and pillage. They're called Lepis Crew. Every one of them wore a motorcycle helmet with rabbit ears as a signature of themselves. Their first appearance in the original comic, which was mainly paraded using cannon-powered airships in other countries, begins with a raid on Busan. At that time, Isikul was robbed as she was unprepared. Of course, it's different this time. By the way, such a huge airship. Ship. Three people were overlooking the big sea in all directions. Roughly in the middle stood the guy in a red helmet with rabbit ears. And next to him were the guys in the same helmet in blue and yellow. They were whispering among themselves. And behind them, the two of us, who have fallen gently, 
when they heard a creaking sound from the side where we sat down. They turned their heads and looked at us. What nonsense is this? Who are you? They saw me with a black hat and a cape flying around, and Choi Sihi, who was warming up her fist, at both of us. The guy in the middle shouted, Who are you? The one in the middle who shouts at me as soon as he sees me. I told him, yawning. In your boss, Bess, what the hell are you talking about? Blue. Yellow. Intruder. Get all your weapons, Roger, Roger, that. The two next to him hurriedly began to pack their weapons, me, watching them. I just floated the baseball bats that I packed using telekinesis, and while see he was making a fist and splashing the electric, I grinned unconsciously as I looked at them ready to rush at us, as expected. A whip is a medicine for troublemakers, hit them. Starting with the shouting of the rabbit helmet in the middle, the fight began, with three people rushing in all at once. After a while, no, what did you say earlier? <sighs> at the three people sitting on their knees, I tapped the bat toward the floor. Who's the captain? It's Mizzle. Agostik. Good, good. How long has it been? Villains who received Choi Sihi's socialization education were showing remorse after realizing their sins. What a beautiful figure. He. Red. Yes, sir. The brat in the red rabbit helmet in the middle answered in surprise. That's it. You should hurry up and answer me like that. Yes, now you are a temporary ally with our ego stream. What? Villain Union. I said your ego stream's second party. Got it, alias, sir. I swung my paddles to get the answer I wanted. Whoa, I don't know who's the villain now. Choi Sihi, who was watching me from behind, was filled with amazement. Kid, am already a villain, anyway. Welcome to Ego Stream. Oh, I shouted out loud with open arms to them. Villain signature, no. After a fight, we are all friends. Although my friends are kneeling in front of me, they are my friends anyway. So, these lepers or rabbits something completely gave into my long hours of socialization and even made a deep pledge to commit only good terrorism in the future. The effect is good. After all the preparations in this way, I contacted Isikul. Lee Siola, he, he, were ready to invade Busan, in going to take a plane with a cannon, and bang, shoot in front of the city. What are you going to do, airship? You always bring something extraordinary. What's about the date? Ben, I'm ill warned the citizens about the airstrikes in advance to get some bonus points. If I show myself blocking it, my image will get better and hey, please set me a dope sale, in black. What? Well, I write. It's not a big deal, then having plotted such a specific terrorist date and action plan. I soon hung up, all right, that's good for now. Net right, I knelt down and spilled my words at the villains in front who were beware of me. You said you wanted to attack Busan, right? What? No. We will go back quietly. No, no, that's not it, come on, you guys, do some work with me. I gave them a bigger smile. These bunny villains are shaking in front of my bright smile. We should be friends, right? Since now we're partners. That's how I arranged for an attack with them. If they take an airship to Busan and shoot a few cannons, that's terrorism. It's a golf stop game that I put up with Isikul from the start anyway. So there's nothing much. I just have to make sure that the broadcasting angle comes out well. That's how the time of the showdown dawned. Downtown Busan in a peaceful place. A siren suddenly sounded. We go, we go. And soon, voices echoing throughout the city. Oh, uh, oh, uh, this is a warning from Yuzung Enterprise. Right now, terrorists are attacking Busan. We are contacting you urgently because we noticed it before the association. Please, escape now. Oh, all the electronic devices made in the Yusung Enterprise echoed the urgent voice of Isikul. Citizens were shocked by the sudden situation, but all of them hurriedly began to evacuate. And how much time has passed? Beyond the sea horizon seen from Helmdel, something huge was flying. A huge ship floating in the sky which is unbelievable to eyes. It's flying majestically over the sea from the south. A large black sail, hanging above such a huge airship. And there, it says Gus Dream in a big way, on the deck in front of the ship. I was looking down at Busan in the distance, crossing my arms with my cape flying. 
Mr. Agostic. Everything is ready, boss. The cannons are ready, too. Good job, gentlemen. Let's get the ship moving faster. Uh, I shouted and looked down at the large city of Busan. Hmm. It feels refreshing to cause terrorism on the beach, not in Seoul. I prepared to turn on the broadcast, facing the sea breeze. Now, let's start the show. A got stream broadcast on. Broadcast. He turned on the live show. Oh, damn. What's with the airship? Ha ha no. The ship is so cool. Ha 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 mango stick. Mango stick. Mango stick. Mango stick. Is this Busan? Mango stick appears in Busan. Ha 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 yo. Gay fellows in Busan. Taste the mango scent directly from Sil. Ha ha ha. Isakal is about to look so damned. Shin Harrow, who was trying to go right away when she heard that a gostic appeared, rubbed her eyes and watched it again. After reading the article, however, no matter how much she looks at it, the written title is still about a gostic appearing in Busan, not Seoul. He's causing an attack here. Without realizing it, Shin Haru muttered with her dead eyes. Why? 